we got deceived, we meaning the soldiers there and the airmen and the sailors and, and all of the people there were deceived about why we were there and the strategic importance of it was never really shown. We sort of bought in the notion that it was a domino theory. If we lost Vietnam, we would lose somebody else and the whole Southeast Asia would fall to communists and the Chinese would invade. A lot of that was just uh, propaganda uh, to keep us going and to make us think that it was something we ought to be doing. McNamara drafted guys who were unqualified. They wouldn't even pass a test to get into the military. Poor kids, many of them black kids, a majority of them blacks for a while, and a lot of poor whites as well, were sent right out to infantry and they just got slaughtered. I mean, it was just terrible. And of course, there were, there were no flags waving and there were no parades, there's no welcome home kind of thing. So that was kind of sad, that was kind of sad, that was kind of sad. So America, you know, was different. And, and so now this retrospective 50 years later is, we ought to be very careful about what our government tells us. We ought to resist accepting any truths until we fact check them, that we go behind them. We need a free press. We need vi vigilance. We need to resist taking the government's line on whatever it is. And I think that is the larger lesson from Vietnam.